What's up fish gavers? So we're going to talk about how to prepare almond leaves as well as other botanicals for your aquarium. Um, you can also do this with wood as well. I just don't have any that I need to do right now. So I'm going to prepare these botanicals and I'm going to teach you how. Let's go. All right, so these are the best results I've had with preparing these things as well as wood and stuff like that. First steps first, step one, we gotta rinse these. So let's do that. Step two, we're gonna add some water in here and get them boiling. So step three is not necessary for everybody. Um, if you wanna do what I'm gonna do, step three is necessary. Other than that, you can just take these and throw them right in your tank if you would like. Me personally, I like to take an extra step of awareness. So for step three, we're gonna add more water as well as your favorite dechlorinator, minus is Seachem Prime. Um, the reason I'm doing this is this batch of water you can use as a tea for your aquariums as well, which was just gonna add the tannins minus the leaves, of course. Now what this step is gonna do is it's gonna make everything sink. As you can tell, the alder cones have already sunk and some of the leaves have sunk. Um, this is gonna make the leaves sink as well. You can obviously do that in step two if you would like. Me personally, I like to do it this way so I can add the water as well. Obviously you wanna cool it off, so. But for step three, we're gonna boil it again. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the fish tanks in this video for you guys. Uh, make sure you check out the last video up here, link, link up there in the corner, also down in the description on almond leaves and the benefits of almond leaves as well as these other botanicals that I'm using in this setup. All right, so now that they're boiled, the next step is to just add them to tanks. Um, I'm gonna add guava leaves to this one here. And you'll see they'll slowly sink down to the bottom. I'm gonna put guava leaves all along the front on this tank here, along with a couple batches of alder cones. There we go. As you can see, I think it adds a natural look but I'm gonna go ahead and add these to other tanks as well. So, oh, I'm putting all their cone in here. I'm gonna put one in this bed of tank. Some of these aren't gonna sink right away and that's totally fine. Also gonna put a guava leaf in here as well as a small almond leaf. Got one more guava leaf I'm gonna put in this one. And then one more I'm gonna put, uh, I'll just put it in the stop tank. Normally I'm not gonna add a leaf to this, but this thing is going through an algae bloom and then the plants are gonna take over again. So um, anyways, onto this next stuff. So we got some bigger almond leaves that we're gonna add to the axolotl tank as well as the Corydoras tank. I would not recommend adding alder cones to your axolotl tank. Mine likes to try and eat them. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna put these almond leaves in here. Send them down to the bottom. I'm gonna take another big one, drop it in this tank even though this tank has tannins. And then I'm gonna put these alder cones and almond leaf into my shrimp tank. 
and just let them kind of go wherever. I don't really care. <laughs> now, as far as the T, I'm gonna cool that off and I'm gonna use that to add to other fish tanks as well, which I'll show you here momentarily. Let me cool it off first. All right, so our T here is all cooled down. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of it to this tank, kind of top it off basically. And you'll be able to see how the temperature, or the color, not the temperature, how the color of the tank is changing to almost like a brownish type tint. And that's gonna mix in real well. I'll come back to that tank. Um, next up, we're gonna throw some in Felix's tank here. Excuse the glass, I do gotta clean this tank, especially the glass. It is just covered in gunk, so. But anyways, we're gonna dump this in here. And again, we're gonna let that mix up a little bit. We'll throw some in the Corridora's tank. Again, just turning the tank brown, which is kind of what I wanted in all these tanks, just because I believe that the, the beneficial side of this is much better than what you would expect. Now this tank, I'm just gonna put the rest of this in. Uh, this tank doesn't have any wood. I just put some leaves in here, but usually it doesn't. So I'm gonna add some tannins to this water just to kind of amp up the health of everything that's living in here. Now I get a lot of questions about, um, is it gonna affect plant growth and stuff like that? Now it can, um, if you get it really, really dark. Um, now me personally, I like just a little hint of color. Um, like, like I said, like if you look at this one here, just a slight hint of brown, just enough to, you know, add a little bit of extra. Uh, these tanks are gonna do it on their own. As you can tell, this one's already starting to leach a little bit of brown. And the same applies to this tank here. As you can see, it's already trying to, kind of getting that brown tint. Uh, same with this one here, just not as much. Um, yeah, really neat stuff. That was step three for you guys on the tannin soup, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> this tank just, I love the way that looks. Something about it, so. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something today. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll throw the little deal up right here. Click it down in the bottom right hand corner. And if you do, don't forget to get your bell notifications on so you know when I'm releasing new videos. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.